Number three, when police ran the plate of a hit and run suspect, they immediately recognized the game. The name now a Roseville judge is under investigation tonight. Only on seven, we've obtained police dash camera recordings and are taking a look at how police responded when a judge officers work with often is accused in a hit and run. Seven Action News reporter Kim Russell is live at the scene where it happened. Kim, what does that video reveal? I'm live right now at Gratiot and McKinnon where that accident happened and that video shows that right when police responded to the scene, they immediately ran the plates and they knew that they knew one of the people involved. Is that the hit and run vehicle? Yeah. Oh, sh kidding me. Wait, the red charger plate. David, yeah. Oh, God, for police, for the love of God, help me be the Chrysler. You can hear Roseville police officers sent to the scene of a hit and run crash. Talk about how they hope someone they know, 39th District Court Judge Catherine Steenland, isn't really a suspect in a hit and run. No, that's not. Oh, all right, we're going to get the information first, then we'll give the boss a call. I'll call me all. They asked the driver what happened. I didn't even get a chance to turn. She just like, you? Yeah. She had to have been drunk. She looked and just kept driving. Like okay. she floored it. And this man isn't the only one who says he got a plate. There was a witness. Okay, they followed her. Okay, is the car in the driveway? Yes. The officers then give their boss a heads up. He wants us to proceed just like as if it was anybody else. We're going to go to her house, try to make contact. She comes to the door, we're going to go from there. If she doesn't, she doesn't think she will, but I never know. Um, we're going to impound her car. I guess we're going to drive away and whatnot. He's going to send somebody here that has more experience. They go to the judge's door and knock. No one answers. They tow the car. <laughs> I knocked on the door tonight at that very same house. A woman came to the door and peered out the window. But when she saw me, she did not answer. Now, so far, Judge Steenland has made no comment. The officers could also be heard in that video talking about how they know she has a history. She was convicted in 2008 of driving while intoxicated, and she was penalized, removed from the bench for a time. We'll continue covering this and let you know what happens. Reporting live in Roseville, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right.